Hi guys, welcome to the channel and kaboom! Yes guys, welcome to my Made Simple Attack Strategy series. This is where we find some of the best attack strategies and we make them simple. We break them down and we make them easy to use. Because guys, I'm a middle-aged guy with a mobile phone and the reaction speed of a hippo. So I need simple yet effective attack strategy. And today guys, we've got the king of spam. Here it is, we're going to check out the army composition in just a moment. First of all, let's rename the army. We're going to call it Ice... Hunter, Ice Hunter with three, no four, exclamation marks, because it is so absolutely amazing. Guys, this was one of my favorite attack strategies before the recent update. Now we've added some headhunters, and it's more lethal than ever. I had my best day in the Legend League ever using this strategy. I'll show you in just a moment my Legend League attack log as well. Anyway, let's meet the troops. So, your army is going to consist of six ice golems, eight witches, ten bowlers, four of the new awesome headhunters to take out the enemy heroes, guys. Yes, two wizards and one minion called Mike. Yes, of course, Mike is overpowered, and if he's on the battlefield, you're in with a real chance of getting three stars. Your spells are going to be one poison, five bat spells, three freeze, and a rage. Donated clan castle troops will be two yetis, a valk, and a barbarian by the name of Bob. Donated clan castle spell will be a rage spell to sprinkle on top, and your siege machine will usually be a wall wrecker. Yes, guys, there you go. There's the army, troops, siege machine. It works beautifully. The ultimate spam attack, guys. Three stars, you can almost touch them. Anyway, let's go on over now. I'm going to show you my attack log for the day using this. I only managed seven attacks, then I fell asleep. Okay, so seven attacks, and I had five three stars using this strategy. Yes, guys, yes, we had one one star there. I could make an, up, a, up an excuse and say I dropped my phone or something like that, but I didn't. I just had a bad time on that attack. So five out of seven were three stars. Guys, for me, that's really really good so let's jump into our first replay now let's learn how to use this strategy so guys we're going to make things as easy as possible guys because that is where we sort of rule out making any mistakes yes some bases you're going to need to funnel on maybe the king on one side ice golem a witch and a couple of bowlers on the other side for your funnel but this base we don't need to let's put the ice golems down then the witches then the wall wrecker in the middle, then the heroes, and then the bowlers last. Because we know what bowlers are like, guys. They go off and do their own thing. So we need to try and get them to go into the base. Rage spell down to help all the troops into the base. Don't be afraid of using the Grand Warden ability early. And get ready with those headhunters to take out enemy heroes. Yes, sometimes the enemy heroes will be deep inside the base. So you're going to have to hold on to those headhunters till later, guys. Royal Champion over there on the right. I've now deployed her to help out. And the main objective now is getting that wall wrecker to the town hall. Rage spell down to help those yetis take out the town hall. And as long as you take out the town hall, you're in with a chance. We've got three free spells. Remember, guys, you can use one of those free spells to help out the Royal Champion. Make sure she doesn't get infernoed by the single target inferno. But you want to have at least two free spells left for your bats at the end. So this is looking okay. What nasty uh, defences have we got to take out the bats? We've only got... One wizard tower. So obviously the bat's worst enemies are scatter shots and wizard towers. And there's only one wizard tower left. So this is looking really good. We've got both hero abilities. We've got Mike the minion waiting to come onto the battlefield, guys. We're in good shape here. We've frozen that wizard tower. Not today, Mr. Wizard, no. And now, guys, yeah. Mike the minion's over there on the right-hand side. This is looking really good. And guys, what do you do when you've got a spare free spell? You just freeze an empty... You freeze the grass, guys. That patch of grass looked rather aggressive. And, uh, yeah, we decided to freeze it. So there's the first replay. What, what, what have we got now? Let's have a look. Yes, it's sort of another trophy base. Centralised town hall, kind of. These can be really tricky. So I'm going to put a nice golem there. Out the arena straight away. And the king on the left, just to make a bit of a funnel. And then the rest of the troops to the right. There we go, guys. Queen's he helping out the king on the left-hand side there. Wall wrecker in the middle. And to make things a bit more interesting, guys... Yeah, we're going to have the Grand Warden on air mode. Why not? Let's just make things a little bit harder. Obviously, I didn't mean to do that, guys. Do not copy that. Uh, I even made an attack strategy, an air attack strategy the other day with the Grand Warden on ground mode. I think Gary the Grand Warden, he's a bit of a joker. I think he's uh, not now. He's just taken an air mine to the leg and uh, he's been taken out. But I think Gary the Grand Warden has been winding me up and switching modes without telling me. Anyway, Town Hall's down. This is looking okay. I've totally lost. We haven't used the uh, Headhunters yet, guys. 
Uh, we haven't used them yet, but like I said, sometimes you're not going to be able to use them straight away. But we do have an enemy royal champion up there that we're going to use the headhunters on in a moment. In go the bats. Here they come, guys. And yep, we put a wizard down. Then the headhunters have taken out that royal champion. Thank you. The bats are going through the base. And guys, there's no defences that are going to be able to take out the bats. We're looking good. We're looking really good here. Unless something, uh, I know sometimes a, a stray air mine can take out your bats if you're unlucky. But uh, we're looking really nice here. And we're going to freeze all those structures. Yes, freeze the storages, guys, for four star. Absolutely. We've got a chance of four stars now. And what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to freeze the gold mine for five stars and freeze the spell factory, which was destroyed by that free spell for six stars, guys. That's the first time we've six starred an opponent. Well done. So on to our last replay, guys, and I haven't said it yet, but guys, if you're enjoying the video and you do want to see the latest and greatest base designs and attack strategies, do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join the Samoose army. Anyway, yes, on to this replay. So there is a royal champion. We're going to take her out with some headhunters. So we sacrifice an ice golem and a couple of headhunters there. And kaboom! Yes, guys, that royal champion is gone. Unfortunately, we're going to lose the headhunters. They're going to try and get to the next hero, but it's not going to happen. So we've taken her out. That's good. Then we're going to go for the same strategy as before. Now, Ice Golem's in, then the Witches, then the Wall Wrecker heroes, and then uh, we can use the remaining two headhunters over there for the enemy queen, I believe. Uh, are we going to put them down? I can't. There they are! And they're going in to help take out the enemy queen. Use the Grand Warden ability. It's protecting the headhunters as well. Enemy queen is down, pushing into the base. And this is looking really good. And guys, this is one of my favourite attack strategies before the recent update. And it's even more awesome now. It really is good. And of course, we had the Grand Warden on air mode again. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Gary the Grand Warden uh, misbehaving again, changing his air mode uh, to ground mode and the other way around just to try and uh, keep me on my toes he thinks I don't notice these things but I do so what's happening here guys we've still got the royal champion ability queen ability Mike the minion is waiting to come onto the battlefield uh, he's my substitute I you know Mike recently we've had a bit of a falling out so I've told him I said Mike I'm not putting you in at the beginning of the battle you get carried away and you get infernoed so we're going to leave you there he is so he's just joined the battle there He's in charge now. He's telling people where to go. There's a nasty scatter shot there. And uh, they move really quickly and take out your bats. So don't take any chances. Freeze that scatter shot. We're going to freeze it again now. And there we go, guys. There will be no six stars this time. We've run out of spells. But it's okay. We've got enough bats. We've got enough troops. We've got Mike the Minion. And you know, you know what else we've got, guys? We've got three stars. Kaboom. Yes. So guys, I'm going to give you a bit of an update about the channel now, what's happening, you know, uh, stick around for that if you want. And uh, if you don't want and you want to go now, that's fine guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you do want to see the best attack strategies. But anyway, yes, yeah, sorry. In the next few weeks, we're going to be hitting 50,000 subscribers and I never ever thought we would get anywhere near this figure. You know, I just started the channel about a year ago. Uh, and I enjoy making these videos. I really do. I enjoy you guys and your comments you give me and all the support. It's absolutely amazing. This is why I do it, guys. It really is. But as we grow, we make new contacts and it gives us new opportunities. So we've started working with some professional base builders over at Clash Champs. Really nice guys over there. And they're going to be building us some bases exclusively for this channel that you will not find anywhere else. So I'm going to start rolling those bases out about one a week. Um, some really good bases, guys. So if you do want some awesome base designs that you won't find anywhere else, this is the place to be. I've got two Max Town All 13s, or very nearly Max Town All 13s. So I'm going to have loads of attack strategies for you, loads of base designs and reviews. And I'm also sort of slowly working my Town Hall 12 up to Max. So I have some Town Hall 12 attack strategies and base designs. And I've got a couple of other Town Halls I'm working on. I've got two Town, no, one Town Hall 10 and a Town Hall 11. But guys, you know. Uh, it sometimes takes quite a long time to level up Town Hall. So I'm trying my best to give you sort of a wide coverage of awesome content that you can enjoy. And uh, yeah, we're nearly there, guys. So when we hit 50,000 as well, some exciting things are going to happen. I'll tell you more about that uh, as we get closer. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video today. This is Samu signing out. Drop me a comment in the video comments. I'll try and reply to each and every one of you. Watch another video, guys. Here you go. Why not? There's some awesome videos there. Lightning guides, attack strategies, base reviews. So uh, Samu signing out. Pleasure as always. And I'll catch you later. Take care.